Hi, welcome back to beginning Ionic Hybrid Application Development. In our last section, we took a look at CSS and JavaScript components, adding components to a view, creating and updating an Angular value object, and saving and restoring the value object to local storage. This is the fifth section, deploying and plugins. In this section, we will work with platforms, plugins, and then finally, we will wrap up our course. This is video 5.1, adding and removing platforms. In this video, we'll look at how to work with platforms, especially how to add and remove them. Before we talk about adding and removing platforms, let's fix a glaring omission. Our app doesn't display the addresses of the coffee shops. Open the listings.html file and change the ion item tag. Next, open the file config.xml. Before the closing widget tag, add. This code allows the app to make phone calls. The A tag with the tell colon phone number as the link tells the phone to launch the dialer. While building our app, it is nice to be able to run from the browser, but in order to install your phone app to an actual phone, you will need to add a platform to it. From the root of your application, run the command Ionic Platform Add Android. This will add the Android platform to your application. If you are developing on a Mac and have iOS Development Kit installed, you could replace Android with iOS, but our Ionic box only includes Android. If you wish to uninstall the application, that is easy too. Ionic platform remove Android. Remember, once you've removed a platform, it is gone, but if you change your mind, it is easy enough to add it back. In the next video, we will talk about working with plugins.